In the last video, I showed you how you can add a speedman to a Spring product. And this time we're going to write the application. So first, we need to set up a database connection using speedman. So I'm going to right click on my package and create a new configuration file called speedman config. And this allows uh, Spring to set up the speedman environment as part of the Spring lifecycle. So we need to add the configuration annotation which allows it to be picked up by the Spring class path scanning. And then we add a bean for the Speedment application builder. So the annotation is called bean, and this is actuated as a method. So the return type of method is going to be Sakila application, which is a class that Speedment has generated automatically, which holds all of the Speedment stuff. And we can name this get application. Next, to construct that instance, we're going to use a builder pattern that Speedmint has generated. So it's called the Sakila Application Builder. And here we need to specify how to connect to the database by giving it the credentials. So say with username, root, and with password, password. And then we can build this. So now when Spring starts, it will construct a new Sakila application using this method. But we need a few more things. To be able to do something useful, we need to be able to access the different tables. So for an example, there is a table in my database called Film. And if I want to do stuff with that, I need a Film Manager. So let's create a second bean. And say that this is the Film Manager. And the way that I get access to that is that I say that the input parameter of this method is a Sakila application called app. And then I simply return app get or throw the film manager. So when Spring launches, it will first run this method to create a Sakila application, feed it into this method, which will be used to construct the film manager. So let's write our first controller. So I'm going to right-click here again and create a film controller. And it's going to have two annotations. First, the REST controller, which again allows uh, Spring to detect it on the class path. And secondly, I'm also going to set a request mapping to say that this controller is responsible for the path slash films. Next, we can start writing our logic. So I want a mapping that is responsible for when you write a HTTP GET. And this is going to return a list of films. So how do I get these films? Well, I can use the manager that we configured earlier. So I'm going to inject that into this class using the auto-wired annotation and say that I want a film manager for this class to work. And then here I can just write return films stream collect to list. We can even import this statically. So let's see what happens if we run this. I can see that the application has started on port 8080. So I can open a terminal and write curl localhost 8080 slash films. So curls allows me to call a particular URL, in this case the localhost. So let's run it. And I can see that I get a lot of stuff here. So let's format it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to write pipe and then jq, which is a tool that you might need to install. And this will parse it as JSON. And here I can see all of my movies. So this is how easy it is to write a Spring application that uses Speedment to connect to a database. All of these classes were generated automatically, and I didn't have to write all of them myself. So thank you for watching.